This video is sponsored by PotownStore.com, the best place to get yourself some TCGO code cards. Are you looking for that last card to complete your deck or you want to start your adventure and you don't have any TCGO codes? This is the website to start. You can go to PotownStore.com and use the coupon code ZAPDOSTCG for 5% of your next order and they have a huge variety of codes up on their website ranging from uh, the latest booster packs like Battle Styles, they have uh, Dragapult codes, Eternus codes, Zacian codes, you name it. Be sure to check it out on PotownStore.com. Also, this video is sponsored by CardMarket.com, the best place for European players to buy and sell cards to people all across Europe. I personally use it every day to get rid of my bulk and you can buy some uh, sweet deals uh, from people all across Europe. I love the website. Be sure to check out the affiliate link in the description. You're going to be helping me out. And uh, without further ado, let's just get this video started. I'm hyped. Hopefully you guys are hyped as well. Peace. What's up YouTube, it's Zapdos TCG here and welcome back to our TCG battle video on my channel today. We're gonna be playing with Guardian, the last fairy still standing just before uh, rotation is gonna happen. This is gonna be a fairy deck that's actually viable. Big shout out to uh, Milios Dierlika. I hope I pronounced that correctly. A player from Poland, which actually Poland uh, is uh, able to actually uh, do very well uh, with a score of six wins. And only two losses, so uh, Guardian is here and uh, we're gonna be trying this out. This was in the Limitless, uh, yeah, the weekly number 29. And uh, what we're gonna be doing here, this looks like a binder drop, but uh, I uh, yeah, assure you this is gonna be good. We're gonna be using Fairy Song to accelerate Fairy Energies from the deck to one of our bench Pokemon and then we're gonna be tag switching it to the correct Pokemon. So we have energy acceleration with the fairy types. We can go for crazy attacks, for instance, the 100 blows impact because I don't know if you've noticed, but this list runs four Aurora energies, which means you're gonna be able to move those around with tag switch as well. Sometimes you can go for a uh, ultra creation. It is possible. Sometimes you go for a Calamitous Slash. It is all possible with this list. A horror house, whatever you need to. This is a, a counter box deck with Guardian. So. Guardian is the main Pokemon you want to be having. And we have four copies of Tag Call to search out these Tag Teams. They're all Tag Team Pokemon in here. But sometimes you can turn a Tag Team into a Two-Prizer with the Island Challenge Amulet. And you also can attack uh, yeah, with the Karate Belt uh, out of nowhere with, of course, stuff like the Marshadow Marsh and Machamp. So a very interesting card because, yeah, if you have more prize cards remaining than your opponent, the attack cost of the Pokemon uh, is one fighting car, one fighting energy less. So you could also use that for your Garchomp and Giratina. So uh, crazy stuff for sure. There's a Greens build, so you always want to go second with this list. And we're going to be seeing if we can get some Ws here. So uh, I love the fact that you have access to almost all the tag teams in the game. And you hit witness, let's say you're up against Rapid Strike Urshifu, you go for Gengar Mimikyu. Let's say you're up against Eternus, you go for your Machamp and Marshadow Tag Team Jack. So you have lots of options for sure. And uh, there's also Power Plant Reset Stamp combos, which is still very, very strong in today's meta. The opponent is saying, whoa, whoa. <laughs> oh, there's a hard face. Hello, hello. This guy knows me. What is he playing though? What is he playing? Okay, let's do this. Well, we have tax switches and all that. We'll see how it goes. Okay, we start off with Gengar, Mimikyu, and uh, Energy Spinners, and uh, Greens. So this is actually not bad. We're up against Fighting, so I'm actually tempted to go with this. Although, starting with... We have Green, so we can switch instantly. Or find your Air Balloon. So it doesn't matter what we do. Let's just start off with Gengar, Mimikyu first, and uh, maybe the opponent will... Ooh, this is probably gonna be Sandakanda, isn't it? Probably gonna be Sandakanda. Okay. In this situation, it's very nice and easy. We try to KO these fellas. Is there a Pokemon that is able to dish out multiple uh, threats simultaneously? There is Beast Game GX, which instantly gets us multiple prize cards. That's not too bad, right? Let's go for green. Yeah, let's just put the air balloon on this fella. Let's go for green. Yeah, we go second, right? So let's just go with Energy Spinner first. Let's get a Psychic Energy. Yeah, this guy already has an energy, so we need to make, uh, yeah, get rid of it right right away. We have our Buzmosa, which actually requires us to have a Grass Energy, which is, funny enough, not in this list. We could still find it. We could technically still find it. Linear Attack is also not a bad option. Ha, huh, dang it. We really want to find that Aurora energy here. The or, uh, Ultra Creation is probably also going to be a very nice idea here. Huh. Yeah, Ultra Creation. That's what we need, right? Let's go for this. 
I wonder if you're gonna be able to knock out an ADP instantly. He still wants to go for Call for Family, I reckon. Hmm. Yeah, for now, I'm actually gonna take all of our cards right from the get-go. Well, I look at that. <laughs> this guy's gonna say, what in the world are you playing? I don't even know myself. I don't even know myself. Oh, Goose Hala. Goose Hala is nice. So we can find ourselves the Buzz Mosa. Yeah, Buzz Mosa is nice, but the problem is, yeah, right now we can go for like Horror House, but that's not gonna be doing too much here. So probably a Fairy Song is even a better idea here. I think so. Or we attach, yeah, we could attach here and then go for Tag Switch, so we can actually get some energies into play. We already have energies here. He's probably gonna go for a weird scenario, so we will go for this. We will go for uh, the Aurora energy, so let's go for a Goose Hala. We will get rid of one of these and one fighting. Yeah, seems okay to me. So let's get rid of these. Get ourselves a uh, Power Plant, getting ourselves Aurora energy. And the Island Challenge Amulet is probably going to be the way this works out best. I think so. Let's take them while we're at it. We can overlap a specific card, so let's just retreat. Ta -ta. Let's go for the uh, Aurora energy. Yeah, power plant is not going to be mattering in this list. He's also playing green as well, so let's just go for Fairy Song. Getting two energies equipped it. And then next turn we go for green, get that tackle, get that ADP, that switch, and uh, yeah, get the Ultra Creation up. At least we will have some energies in play. So there's called for family. The family is here. Okay. Here is the family. I wonder if he's gonna get the huge one hit KOs or not. Okay, and <laughs> Buzz Moza does show up. Pretty interesting, which can actually take additional prize cards here. Yeah, let's go for ADP. If we go for this GX move, we get instantly uh, multiple prize cards, but I think ADP on the other hand is probably going to be the better solution here. So tag, switch, tag, switch, tackle. So you can get ADP switching around, but we will still not have a way to retreat out of there. Huh, air balloon. Yeah, this is going to be interesting, right? Because we want to go for ADP, but in this scenario, it's going to be hard getting the ADP. We can stack switch energies later and go for the Ultra Creation. Okay, let's go for this one. Air Balloon. We will retreat. this guy or not I think about it we can also go for the uh, Kaleido storm before we knock him out interesting interesting stuff so we will go for tax which get the energy from this guy to this guy we will go for retreat option ta -ta. Ta -ta. we will attach of the turn here. Sounds good to me. And uh, let's just go for Beast Game GX. Okay, we use that as our GX move. Oh, there's a tax switch. That's super good. And a great catcher. Not too good here. We can go for Kaleido Storm. If we find uh, some sort of switch <laughs> or just go for. Uh, we also hit weakness, by the way. So we can jet punch. Until our hearts can Oh, send attack. What? Well, we just got send attacked. What is this? Yeah, we will get a supporter back. So let's get rid of the great catcher, getting ourselves. I think in this situation, the green is better. So we can tag switch and attack with Gardevoir. Okay, there's a switched card instantly. Okay, that's not too bad. That is not too bad. We can get rid of the opponent's entire hand at one point if we have enough tax switches. That's not bad. Let's just switch so we can reset the attack effect. We will retreat to this guy. 
Do we retreat to this guy? Or we tag switch and move around all, our, all of our energies. It's not too bad. Two of these. Yes. Going onto the Guard of War. We will get the Aurora energy onto our fella over here. Getting multiple KOs is nice, but let's just go with these. These sound nice enough, so let's go for Kaleido Storm 150. Okay, we move an energy to, to move. Uh, just one onto the Bosmosa is not a bad idea, right? And yeah, we can move around all the energies. Oh, that's cool. One <laughs> Next turn, we are actually able to go... If this Pokemon has at least three additional fairy energies, that's gonna be hard, seeing as we... Yeah. Seeing as we need to draw into our Aurora energy, then we can make it possible to... Uh, yeah, it doesn't even matter too much because we already used our GX move, so we'll see. He promotes Gossifler, so he's uh, whiffing out on Sandakana. Now he uh, top decks the Sandakana, attaches to the turn, retreats, and we'll see if he gets the one hit KO he desires. Recycle energies, okay. Big Sand Cannon. Ooh, that's a little bit of a fail, we survive. It's totally awesome. What are we gonna do in this scenario? We're gonna go for a retreat me mechanic. I don't know if Gengar Mimikyu is gonna be doing the, the stuff here, so let's go for Tackle. Guthala Melolana, these are nice cards. We can Melolana an attack with another guy, but this guy is not gonna be doing the job just yet. I don't know how many cards he has in hand, so I think we will need to go for this mechanic. We will get rid of this, and we will get rid of a water energy, which we probably will not need. So let's get an Aurora again, big charm. Sounds okay to me. We will retreat. There we go. Attack with the Buzzmosa out of nowhere. I don't know if the big charm is relevant. Let's see here, 60 times. So if he has five, that's 300. If he has four, that's... Um, 240, this doesn't matter too much, just big charm. 240, doesn't matter, let's get rid of it. Let's go! Elegant Soul, hidden for weakness as well. 380 freaking damage output. So now he needs an energy and he needs Sandakanda. And now we have Karate Belt as well. So I know he takes, if he gets the one hit KO, that's gonna be good for him, but he got, he got rid of like a lot of stuff. Okay, Recycler again. We can instantly attack with the Guard of War Sylveon at one point. Yeah, there's a green. Okay, that's bad. He needs Sandakana and Switch, presumably. And then he needs a one hit KO here. He needs five. He needs five heads. Or actually, five cards from the top of his deck. So, this Sandakana deck we already reviewed on the channel. So, as you can see, Kaleido Storm can actually move around all the energies. Maybe going for ADP would have been better. Oh no, this is it. This is it. This is totally bonkers. So uh, we just need to get two attacks off and that's very easy to do so. So let's just uh, attach a water energy out of nowhere. And uh, we could mellow Lana later, but for now let's just green. Getting ourselves a boss's orders. And a reset stand if he somehow miraculously knocks this guy out. He can of course knock this guy out, but then he, he needs to knock out two more. And I don't think that's gonna be possible here. Let's go for Elegant Soul once again. It's only 60, which doesn't matter too much here. Let's go. We have Tax Switch, so we can have all these sorts of energies moving around on your board, which is something I really like. And there is Sandakanda. Will he get the one? Yeah, he now he will get the one in game, but we only will take two prize cards here, which is something crazy. I wonder if he, let's say the uh, Island Challenge Amulet was not equipped. Let's see if he was able to get like five of them in the discard. Because Sandakana is like nice if it works out, but not every single time. Oh, Silly Cobra again, attachment there. One... Oh, how much was that? 200... We would have survived. We would have survived. So the Island Challenge Amulet gave, gave him two prize cards because of uh, yeah the reduction here. Well played. You have a good deck. Let's go. Kaleido Storm. Boom, and we can move around the energies to another attack. So that's what, something I really like about Guard, Guardian. Guardivore and Sylveon tag team was very good at one point. And uh, then Zacian came around and slaughtered it. And uh, that's why Reshiram is in here. So sometimes you can go uh, with the Outrageous. 
if you have like a little bit of luck by your side, you can go sometimes for, yeah, I think Outrage is the best plan of action. If you have lots of Aurora energies, you can get all of them to the Charizard. Maybe there's a better tag team that is fire to just get energies onto, I don't know. Hopefully you guys are enjoying the content. If you are, be sure to let me know by destroying the hell out of the like button. Guardian got us a W. I know it was up against Sandaconda. But on the other hand, he never got like one hit KOs anyhow. So uh, even if he had a little bit of better of luck or earlier attacks, he would have not gotten there. As mentioned, go second with this list. You're a greens list. That's what you need to do. And uh, we start off with the Horror House. I don't mind the Horror House seeing as we have Aurora Energy in the hand in combination with none other than Goose Hala. So uh, we can actually get uh, Poltergeist off as early as turn two, Dracapult. We are not running any darkness, no. Why aren't we running any darkness? Nobody knows. Let's take two Mulligans, thank you. Yeah, we'll see if he has a basic Pokemon or not. Communication, Dracapult goes back. There's Dracapult. How many trainer cards will he have? We don't know. Four cards in the opponent's hand. Four cards in the opponent's hand. We can tax switch away the energies if need be. I don't know how what is gonna be in his hand. That's like the big problem here. Okay, uh, energy spinner first so we can get all of our energy. So psychic, we can get uh, fighting. We don't, probably not gonna be go running with fighting types this time around, although Calimitous Slash is a nice attack, right? Calimitous Slash is a nice attack. Water, Psychic, Psychic, okay, 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 I got this. So let's just get <laughs> all of these. This is a good idea, right? Let's go. Let's take all of these while we can. Let's go for green. Let's go and attach an Aurora Energy over here. Let's get rid of this. I'm going for the green right now. The green will allow us to get Tax Switch Tackle. Power plant. Will we plant him? Maybe. Yeah, we could plant him. I don't know if he's gonna be resorting to the Dene. He cannot play down any cards from his hand anyhow. So let's go for tackle. Getting ourselves. Which attacks are nice to use here? Revenge is nice. Definitely gonna get one of these. A Blastoise out of nowhere. Nah, Cynthia Caitlin. Maybe a Melolana is not a bad idea in this matchup, to be honest. Let's take these. And let's go for the one. The only Horror House GX. <laughs> Buying ourselves a turn. We can then attach, attack with Gengar, Mimikyu, and see what happens. He might potentially Marnie us, but we have lots of tackles left where those came from. So let's hope that is enough, right? Attachment here. And he's going to be attacking us, so I really don't want him doing that. So we're going to try and two-shot this guy. So boss is already probably going to be attacking us anyhow. So Polar Geist, what does he have? One, two, three, four. <laughs> we would have knocked out the um, Aldegoss. But I think going for this Dracopult is probably the better out. Crushing Hammer. Oh, that's super bonkers. And Fan of Waves. Well, suddenly we are in a position where he slowed us down instantly. Like even if we would have gotten the two prize cards from the Eldegos, we are in a situation where we actually need to, uh, yeah, get this fairy song going. But at least we will be able to one-hit KO the Dracopult, actually two-hit KO the Dracopult VMAX. Unless he goes for Melolana the following turn, which could technically happen. Yeah, I think we will go for Melolana in this situation. Melolana first and then attacking with Guardian. Reset stamp, no! Early on reset stamp, who does that? Who in the world does that? Okay, it's not a big issue. Max Phantom, we still have tackle, so we can do our exact same strategy as we would have planned out. So tackle, as you can see, Guardian, and this guy is also super powerful. Although getting the Melolana is also not a bad idea. So let's just get this first. Going for the energy spinner. Getting ourselves. What energy do I want in place so I can... Yeah, this one so I can Calamitous Slash out of nowhere. But that only works if we're behind in prize cards, right? Poltergeist is always nice to have. So let's just go for this. 
Psychic type energy. Tackle action. Getting ourselves. What do we need? What do we need? This one. We also have a fan of waves. He doesn't attach horror psychic energies though. He doesn't attach those. Charizard is a nice option if you can just get damage. <laughs> he can outrage for KO. Is a nice idea. Hmm. Maybe Cynthia Catlin. We already have Cynthia Catlin. So many options. Yeah, this guy is probably gonna be the one we're gonna be discarding here. Okay, this one. Attachment. This one. Let's go for the Mellow Llama. Ta-da! Yeah, I think next turn we will need to find green here. So uh, let's go for this. Let's go for that. With the Poke Gear. Let's go. Fairy Song. Tinning the deck, getting energies. Ta da! Let's hope the Crushing Hammers do not land successfully. Otherwise, we will need to find energy as well. Poke Gear, then finding green. We tinned out our deck quite nicely, and he goes for research, which is super duper nice. We did actually undo a turn because of the Mellow Lana. Crushing Hammer, no! Woo! Oh boy! I don't like these crushing hammers. I really don't. Okay, we can attack with Guardian, save all the energies because we can move them around. Okay, this is nice, fan of waves. Poke gear, green! G -g -g green in the house. Jackpot. Okay. Let's go for green. Let's go for the fan of waves. Nah, we already have the fan of waves, so let's go for this. And. What else? We are going to be getting a tackle so we can move the energies to a more suitable attacker. Yeah, more suitable attacker here. Or another green. Ah, the options are endless. We are going to KO this one for sure, which is not an issue. The tags, which will allow us to move around all the energies. Switch tag Pokemon are we going to be using? Fairy and Psychic. Calamitous Slash is a nice idea. Calamity Slash, Karate Belt, or do we get just a simple another green? That's not a bad idea, right? It's not a bad idea at all. Maybe the Big Charm, so we are more survivability going around. Yeah, let's just take these one. These attack switch. We will be able to attack twice, which is nice. Moving around, let's go for Fan of Ways. Who is slowed down now, huh? Kaleido Storm. We're gonna be moving one Psychic Energy to our Gengar Mimikyu, which is gonna be able to Poltergeist at one point. This seems fine. Okay, what do we get? We get three prize, ADP, not useful today. Pogi Gear and a Water Energy. So at least we can attack with Kaleido Storm once again. We can boss this guy. He's probably gonna be evolving it at one point. Yeah, he probably will be. Tackle again. Okay, which attacker is going to be useful? <laughs> again, same choices, same Kalimata Slash. This guy. Maybe an Aurora Energy is also not a bad one. Well, we can get all of these fellas later. We don't have a lot of Aurora Energies, by the way. We don't. Yeah, let's take these. What else? We are gonna be bossing up this guy. There we go. Moving forward, <laughs> we can actually go for the water energy over here. Can get some energies onto the Blastoise. So if we find Aurora energy or uh, just Goose Hala in general, we can do some stuff. This guy also can make use of uh, other attacks. Calamitous Slash, for instance. Uh, we can get a Fairy Energy onto here. Psychic Carlos, and then leave some energies to our other fella over here. We still have switches left, so that's not a bad idea. <laughs> this guy will think, what the hell is this guy playing? Kaleido Storm. Okay, we are going to be moving around our Water type. Actually, our Fairy type energy goes to this guy. Our water energy 
goes down to this guy. Fairy energy goes down to this guy. And our psychic energy goes down to this guy. We still have tax switches, so we'll see how what happens. <laughs> Look at this. Okay, if he evolves, he's done for. He could have a way to not evolve, but then he's going to be behind with energy attachment. He needs to attach to this guy, yeah, there's no other way. Or he needs to stamp us to a low hand size. If we find our Goose Hala, we're gonna be good. Goose Hala, Air Balloon, Aurora Energy, Kalamata Slash, KO. Unless he finds some hammers real quick. He already played down two hammers. These are all basic energy, so Fan of Voice is not gonna slow us down too much. Okay, the tag team is here. Max Phantom is here. I really don't know if uh, we will get Goose Hala here. Is it energy spinners? Do we have? I think we've played both of our energy spinners down. Ooh, super scary. Super scary. He can still win this. <laughs> Island challenge amulet. Okay. Okay, there's the Goose Hala. This is game. Goose Hala getting rid of the island challenge amulet and the adp we're getting rid of adp how ridiculous karate belt this one vitality band power plant whatever okay aurora energy retreat well played you have a good deck now we're gonna slash the hell out of you here we go, another Chak team <laughs> getting the victory here, wow. This uh, Guardian deck is so much fun to play around with. I, it does take some time to uh, make perfect. Sometimes you need to like, do I play green? Do I go for Mellow Llama? So many options to think about. Sometimes you can go for Island Challenge Amulet, but uh, not always. I do love the way you can move around all your energies with uh, the um, yeah, Kaleido Storm. Yeah, one more for the road, guys, one more. Let's do this. What is he playing? Lantern Squad, okay. Fighting symbol. So we've used Calamita Slash, we've used Guardian, we've used Poltergeist. <laughs> we have used like Beast Game Jax. Hello. So, so many cards we have already played. I was about to use the attack of ba uh, Piplop and um, yeah, the Pips Toys, but I didn't. So many options. I actually made sure we had two attackers to work with. Okay, what else? What do we start with? Uh, uh, this is the, probably the worst starter we could start with because of the fact that it's weak to fighting and we're up against fighting. So bad. Although, we have switch in hand, which means we can go for Goose Hala and go for Horror House out of nowhere. Yeah, you never know. Depends on what he starts with. Oh, this guy's weak to grass. That means we need to get our Buzzmosa out of the list instantly. We have some time to set up though. We need Aurora Energies right from the get-go. Air Balloon. Yeah, this is bad. Like, look at this. We are weak. We are so weak against this tackle. Can we Horror House him? Can we Horror Cheese him? Maybe. We are resistant to fighting, though. And then we can afterwards go for Tax Switch. So let's just get this. Maybe a Melolana to undo a turn. We have Goose Hala. Maybe we need two Goose Hollows in the first place. Let's go. Poke Gear first. Yeah, Goose Hollow. I was about to get the Goose Hollow first, so we have two Goose Hollows, so we can get this working out with Horror House. Tackle. Let's go for another attacker. We have Karate Belt as well, so let's go for Melolana, Cynthia, Caitlyn, so we at least can draw some other stuff. This is also nice to go for Fairy Song in this situation. So many options. Sometimes I really don't know what I'm doing with this list. I really don't. Move. Cynthia Catlin is actually not a bad idea. Because we can get back the Melolana later. Okay, let's go for Goose Hala. Let's get a card, this one, and the Karate Belt. Because we're gonna be, hopefully, be uh, ahead in the prize rate. Let's get, get that Power Plant activation. Aurora Energy and... Maybe put the Island Challenge Amulet onto our little bunny that is about to go down. That's not a bad idea, right? So let's go for this one. Let's attach the Aurora Energy. We can get the Melolana back later. 
let's go for a switch out maybe his Dedani will be like doing nothing and let's put that island challenge over here if he wants to boss here so let's go horror house nothing he can do about that six cards in hand will he have five trainer cards let's go goose hala yeah the goose hala in the house we will get rid of this we will get rid of that Ta -ta 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 -ta. get another aurora a big charm is nice or vitality band vitality band with number wise is not gonna matter too much big charm is probably the best bet yeah big charm is probably the best bet here although an, an air balloon is also not a bad idea so we can actually go if we top deck attack switch we can get attachments onto other stuff ah, yeah yeah probably should have gotten a card that i didn't need but it's okay it's totally okay let's go do we have another or, or balloon yeah let's go poltergeist one two three four ah oh, only four sad so close of knocking out this colossal with whorehouse crushing hammer of course it is heads that now we need to find a psychic energy or a green for energy spinner he played down three trainer cards actually two trainer cards so we slap 200 boss's orders he is going to knock this guy out which means he takes two prize cards oh he doesn't take prize cards crazy utterly broken yeah cynthia catlin thank you what will we get <laughs> the mellow lana so we can switch and attack switch and attack if he doesn't knock us out oh there's tax switch Tax switch, <laughs> you have a good deck. You have a good deck, okay. We have tax switch, which is not able to knock this guy out, unfortunately. We will put a water energy onto this guy because we do have tax switch. Is that a nice idea though? Because if we have to mellow Lana, bah, not what I wanted to see at all. But the tax switch will this guy if he goes down it doesn't matter too much if not we can jumping balloon him for every gx he doesn't have any gx in play three crushing hammers down though is there another attacker like eruption shot this guy <laughs> this guy does knock him out like yeah and now it's part of the truth we need maybe we should have gone for goose hala here oh yeah look at that top deck energy spinner well lol it's time hopefully he has a lot of stuff in his hand let's go scouting it out one two three perfect perfect oh gengar you're doing it okay three prize cards for us and the prize card we lost is doesn't matter at all it doesn't matter at all and we have our buzzmosa here Ooh, yeah that's cool uh hopefully our last air balloon is in the list we can still mellow on attack switch so uh just evolve into the Colossal VMAX. I want to see his reaction. It's gonna be legendary. I mark you, this is the counter box deck, man. Counter box deck with Guardian. Research, no Marnie. Unless he plays Reset Stamp, we should be uh, having the game locked and loaded now. Attachment. Is he going to attack us? We don't seem to have any other. <laughs> this guy is gonna say, what, what weird deck are you playing, man? Quick ball. Yeah, he's not going to be able to play down the Danny, so the only way is a Crobat, yeah. Maybe looking for his last Crushing Hammer or something. Switch, yeah, that's cool. It's cool. He's weak to grass, so you're going to get it. Switch, switch, Air Balloon, Crobat. Come on. Come on. Cut us some slack. No reset stamp. Crushing Hammer. Ah, sad. The Aurora Energy goes away. Which is actually the card we needed to go crazy with Buzzmosa. Well, he plays down all of his items. He found his last crushing hammer. Of course, it landed su landed successfully, and now we are in a weird situation. Eruption shot. Okay, okay. What to do here, Melolana? Okay, we have the green. We don't have any other ways to do this. Can go for yeah, this guy is gonna be able to slap 110 again. Have to go for the green first finding ourselves a reset stamp nah 
Dawson's orders, no big charm, so we definitely survive. Like he slaps 130, right? Actually 110. 110 with the big charm, that means we have 130 HP remaining, 160 HP remaining. If he has martial arts dojo, we are totally screwed. It's also not gonna work out. Tackle. Is there any other attacker? We can tag switch to Garcham Giratina. Tag switch to Garcham Giratina. Is that the way to go here? Definitely tackle and big charm. Mm hmm. These are interesting cards, that's for sure. Okay. Uh, what now? Tackle. I'm actually gonna scout real quick. Do we have another Goose Hollow? There's another Aurora Energy in here, but that's not gonna be helping us out. It's not gonna be helping us out at all. We already used our GX move. These two, maybe Outrage? So many options, to be honest. So many options. Okay, the big charm here. If he doesn't have it in hand, he cannot play the down it down, so he needs to have it raw in hand. Hopefully that's not the case. Then we can tag switch and finish him off. Later. Yeah, let's go for this. Get rid of that. And then uh, maybe we tag switch to this one, maybe to the other one. It all depends on how it goes. Buzzmosa and this one in the house. Poltergeist. Okay, we do slap for 100 damage. So we will need to get a green to tag switch. He doesn't seem to be having a martial arts dojo. So our Gengar Mimikyu should potentially be safe. He can mellow Lana to get rid of all that damage. But we have tag switch so we can save our Aurora energy. And as soon as we draw into our Aurora energy, that's going to be uh, game. But the bad thing is that this deck list does not run basic grass energy. So uh, at least all of his hammers are gone, right? All of his hammers are gone. We can tag switch so we can go for Kaleido Storm. But the problem is our Gengar will go down. It, it, it's stuck right here. We can attach the fighting energy here. And then, do we have another one? We have the fighting energy. We have another psychic energy, right? Yeah, I think so. So this is so hard to play with, man. So hard to play with. Okay, he's gonna go for Melolana, get rid of his entire hand. Quick Ball, Oranguru, Melolana? Nah. Yeah, he can get rid of, he can go for Melolana here if he wants to, but then his hand is completely empty. Here comes the Oranguru. Maybe he's looking for martial arts dojo here. Okay. Saves a card. Marnie. I'm expecting a huge Marnie here. Unfortunately, that Crushing Hammer was successfully otherwise we could have elegant sold the hell out of him. Okay, we survive. He gets the capture energy. I didn't even know that worked. I didn't even know that worked. Okay, we have the attack here. Okay, Goose, Hala, and then uh, I think this is game, right? If we tag switch and do all of our things right, we should have this. Okay, so we go for attach of the turn here. We go for tag switch. We will get rid of this. We will get rid of that. We will go to this. We will go, yeah, this guy. And uh, we can even heal the hell out of this guy if we want to. Melolana, let's go. Well played. You have a good deck. Come in a slash. <laughs> Look at this go, man. Ah, so excited. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video of Guardian counter box deck. This big shout out to, uh, I'm trying to pronounce it correctly, a fellow from Poland, Milos Dyerlika. Yeah, and uh, be sure to check him out. Thank him for the list. And uh, yeah, if we see more wacky lists up on uh, Limitless Weekly or uh, maybe 
other tournaments like the Sunday Open, we will of course cover them on the channel. Be sure to subscribe as always so you can uh, get notified when new videos go live on the channel. Click that bell and uh, you'll get notified instantly. Go check out our sponsors, potownstore.com, the best place for European, actually for everybody in the world to get uh, TCGO code cards. You can use the coupon code ZAPLOSTCG for 5% of your next order. You can get yourself Zacian codes, Luke Metal codes, Mew Mew codes, Reshazard codes, League Battle Deck codes, uh, yeah, draggable codes, crowback codes, whatever codes you need, you can use the coupon code for 5% off. And also go check out our other sponsor, cardmarket.com, the best place for European players to buy and sell cards to people all across Europe. Here's a five euro coupon code for one person, that is for new uh, people that register to the site. European players can actually buy and sell cards to people all across Europe. I personally use it every single day, so you should do that as well if you're a European and if you want to have some physical cards. Anyhow, have yourself a fantastic rest of your day. This was ZabluCCG signing off. Off, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace.